Everybody. How's everybody doing? My name is Lisa, and I'm so happy, so excited to be here with you tonight, and that some of you are hanging out with me tonight and registered for my first artist showcase. Um, you know, I've been making music pretty much all my life from, I don't know, maybe five or six years old singing. And, um, you know, the way I look at it is music is how I express myself. So many of us express ourselves in so many ways. And um, I started writing music to do just that, you know, to continue my, my journey. And just like all of us have a journey. So by the way, throw me a comment. Let me know uh, who's around. And uh, I want to be able to say hi to you. And um, Tell me where you're from, and if you're new to my VIP page. The song you just heard was is In a Highway. It's available on Spotify, and it's actually a lot faster on uh, the, the uh, electric version of it. So check it out, and it's got uh, features uh, the amazing Good Rats guitarist and, and writer, uh, John Gatto, among other musicians. Anyway, um, once again, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my artist journey, what led me here, and what uh, what got me to write my music. I was always singing from from a little girl, but as I said before, my writing only started when I was, uh, you know, married. really good musician by the name of Nelson Arce, who continues to make music today. Um, and we wrote this song about, uh, you know, just feeling like we to speak to diversity and equality. And uh, so the song became known as We're All the Same. We're all the same. We're really all the same. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is actually uh, show you a little prototype. I'm in the middle of doing a video for it. I later on went on to uh, release and re record it. So you'll find that on Spotify also. Uh, but um, I'm just now getting to doing a video. So what I did was I put some very cool, uh, or I, I should say some, some very telling pictures. Not all, all of them are cool. Some of them are, are heartbreaking. But what they do is they tell the story of we're all the same. And what I'm looking uh, for is really comments, suggestions uh, about what you think this video should include in it. This is by no means what the video will be, but this is what I think the pictures give a vibe to it. So I'm going to share my screen right now. Get, get the video queued up. And I hope I did check the volume, so I think it should be cool. Let's check this out. I'm not going to play the whole thing. <laughs> Liars and fools, sachems and crooks, we really are the same. Ma, 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 ma. We really are the same. We're all the same, we're really all the same. Lay and blame for things we can't explain. What he did to she.
All right, there we go. There we have it. So that's where all the same, as you can see, uh, it really does touch upon equality and diversity. And that was, uh, you know, done in the early 2000s. So I really feel like it was so timely and just before things even, as things have been coming about in the world. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> I know everyone has, you know, their story and, you know, my story is not without its crashes and burns. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I laugh because, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to cry? Plenty of tears have been shed actually, but, uh, you know, I guess writing actually helped me get through so much, um, you know, I, you know, in early 2000, maybe 14, 15, um, I wound up uh, starting to separate from my then husband and we wound up getting divorced. And, and all through that time, those years, I'm, you know, searching to find my, who, who am I, my, my new self. And uh, I wrote a, a bunch of songs that later got recorded. Uh, and uh, I call this the I don't phase because I wrote two songs in particular, uh, I don't need you and I don't wanna. Uh, and uh, I, I encourage you to check out I Don't Need You. Uh, it's a series of exaggerations. Uh, I, if I was stuck in an avalanche, I don't need you. If I was stuck in the middle of a raging sea, I don't need you. <laughs> so um, that uh, was I Don't Need You, but then there was the song I Don't Wanna. Now, guys, check this out on Spotify because the way I'm going to perform it for you now is not the way it was recorded. Uh, I don't know <clears throat> if uh, if my uh, I didn't get a chance to to check out who is on and if Tommy Steigler is on. He is my producer and also was the drummer for for all of these songs. Uh, so we we kind of did it in an upbeat, uh, bluesy kind of way, swingy bluesy. But the way I originally uh, sang it. And actually wrote it, it was something like this. I don't want to talk about <clears throat> the way it is. something like that. That's how I actually wrote it. And uh, we played with it in the studio. So I'm going to check all the comments and uh, so I wanted to actually share a song with you that is not recorded yet. 
a song that um Oh wait, call call uh, Tommy and find out what what he he called me just now. I'm wondering if the link didn't work or something. Okay. Bring him to my YouTube page. So this is like my first live stream, and there's so many moving parts. So I have people like checking in on me, and and that was actually uh, Tommy calling. So hopefully, uh, my my people upstairs are gonna fix that. Um, so before I do this exclusive song, I want you guys to do me a favor. Check out Lisa RC page. Um, I have some live performances coming up uh, with this band that I put together with uh, my daughter, Ava Lenore, Ava RC, and uh, actually an amazing musician and drummer and my significant other, Keith Ross. And uh, we call it Drop Dead Gorgeous. And it follows the philosophy that I've been like all my life trying to bring about. And that really is, you know, we're all drop dead gorgeous. You know, we can redefine beauty and confidence and and not have to apologize for it. And, and that's been, you know, that has been women's struggle. I, I know many uh, minorities as well. Um, and, uh, you know, the struggle is to stop seeing beauty and you know success in in only a narrow definition that's judgmental and that leaves so many people out. There's a lot of a lot of ways. I don't want to go on and on about it, but um, "Drop Dead Gorgeous" is about that. And you're going to hear all this modern dance music. I'm talking like Harry Styles, Portugal the Man, Dua Lipa, even like Lady Gaga, even going back to like Madonna, but just very hot dance music. Ava and I, two female power vocalists. Um, so lisarc.net, lisarc.net. Uh, go to my website. It's all over the place. And uh, you will see all about Drop Dead Gorgeous. Also, also on my own page, you'll see plenty of links. So that's Drop Dead Gorgeous, a little bit about that. Now, part of being uh, in my VIP community, which I can, if you're not, for some reason, I could send you the link or I'll put the link on my Lisa RC page, um, is that I do these live streams and they're not for the general public. Um, uh, as I build my fan base, they're gonna be less and less for the general public. I really wanna share and communicate and connect with people out there who like my music, who feel it moves them. Cause that's really all I wanna do. I mean, I'm also a yoga teacher and like, that's my goal there too. It's like peace and love, man. That's really what I'm about. So this song I wrote in that vein, actually. Um, <clears throat> I got a white light. And with it, I can change the world. Now, Jesus had a lot of friends who dug him and listened to his word. But then one day, someone came and gave a big chain, flew up to heaven like a bird. I got a white light in my body, a white light in my body, a white light in my body, and with it I can change the world, and with it I can change the world, and with it I can change the world. So as you can see, I mean, that's sort of in production and I have a few other tunes that are coming out. And uh, being 
on in the VIP community being in my inner circle, I have like a subscription, $5 a month will get you like backstage for that. And, uh, all sorts of like behind the scenes, uh, footage. Um, going to bring that into the studios next phase, by the way, Tommy Steigler next phase in Farmingdale. Anyway, so um, just the other thing that happened as I got certified in yoga, it's like 2017, is that my writing started to go back to being more positive. Uh, lots of songs. If you go back to listen to my Spotify, Apple, whatever, philosophy has been, you know, my philosophy. It's about peace and love and all that positivity. Um, but I wound up uh, writing this too shall pass. It's, it's really all about the lyrics. It's a very simple chordal structure. But um, if you listen to the lyrics, I feel so cold, so very low. I gotta lift my head up just to see the snow, but I don't worry. shall pass it's just the situation not life's culmination it'll pass this too shall pass i feel so tired can't leave my bed i'm being held prisoner to the voices in my head but i don't worry no 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 too shall pass Cause even though I hear the voices limiting my choices it'll pass this too shall pass I have a cool slide on it but this too shall pass is, is really an inspirational tune and um, if you give it a listen let me know what you think anyway we're pretty much coming to the end of my little showcase. Um, I wanted to just let you guys know about something really cool. I have, uh, I've always felt that, you know, beyond just writing music, I've really, my forte lies in vocals and in my lyrics. And uh, so I decided to start creating what I'm calling Lily's Limited, L-Y-M, Limited uh, Lyrics. Uh, edition lyrics, uh, t-shirts, uh, bumper stickers, things that I feel are, are useful or just make people happy. I have some cool stickers. Anyway, it's just merch and it's a way to support the artist, but it's also um, a way to wear the lyrics, which I think are really cool. My, my philosophy lyrics, never going to stop living. Nothing's going to bring me down. Positivity is contagious. No bad vibes for miles around. That's on a shirt. What, what I'm going to actually show you is uh, a preview of my pride shirt. We're all the same. We're really all the same. And uh, I designed this and it's going to be available. It's actually available in a VIP bundle that I'm getting ready now. I'm too short. I have to like fix my video, my camera. But um, <laughs> in June, it'll be available as a standalone. And it's lim it's a limited edition. So there's... Uh, you're not going to be able to get more than like 150 of these. And I'll just show you the back. Yeah. So it's a unisex shirt. So it's, <clears throat> it's good for men and women. Anyway, what I'm going to do actually is put in the chat some of the links and if you want to take a look at it support the artist that'd be awesome i've got a t-shirt one too so i don't know if these links are going to work so this is like you know uh, i'm really excited if you guys are here for this because this is like my first real live stream. I, I did a few actually for, with my band, uh, the in crowd during COVID. 
uh, and but I didn't handle that. <laughs> so, like, uh, you know, I have people helping me out here, and and I'm sure there's plenty of things that went wrong that I'm going to hear about. Um, some of my very cool fans. I just want to uh, say uh, thanks, Debbie, Tony, for trying to um, alert me, Tommy for calling, and uh, Kelly uh, Mooney, uh, a fan that I just came in contact with. She's been wonderful and let me know if that there was a link that wasn't working. So I really appreciate all that. Um, check, check it out when I put it in the chat. And if not, I'll be sure to put those links, uh, on Lisa RC, uh, well, Lisa RC.net, but also, uh, my, my Lisa RC Facebook page, but I've got a lot of really cool things coming up. I'm going back in the studio and making some really good music and I've got some drop dead gorgeous gigs. It's 2024 is going to, for me, it's going to be about just living my journey, you know, living my best life, you know, uh, and I, I urge you to, you know, come on the journey with me. Why not? Why not? Um, new music is out there. It just have to, you know, when you see it, give it, a, give it a listen. So I just want to thank you guys. Um, whether you're seeing this now or, you know, as a recording, I really appreciate uh, any amount of time that you put into this. And this is Lisa RC signing out. Have a good night. And until we meet again, peace out everyone.